These are leaders of the nationwide youth organization that calls itself SDS, Students for a Democratic Society. It has more than 300 chapters on the college campuses of America. Its national and local leaders in convention here at the Chicago Coliseum, June 1969, take the major credit for the rioting, mob actions, takeovers, and burnings on college and university campuses throughout the nation. This is in finding out about the organization of SDS. We've always been quite willing to talk right, about We'll talk about socialism anywhere, in the streets or in the Senate, anywhere, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike Klonsky, uh, National Secretary of SDS, and this is Bernadine Dorn, Interorganizational or Secretary. So you, you, you are is there a communist faction making a big power play for SDS? <laughs> is there a communist back here? <laughs> I guess there is. <laughs> are there communists in this organization? Sure, man. There's, there's a lot of communists. You'll see. When you come in and listen, you hear people talk, and you, you can judge for yourself whether they're communists or not. There are communists in the organization. There's no doubt about that. Uh, there are also liberals in the organization. SDS is not, and the movement in this country, is not something that exists during the school year and is going to start up again in the fall, and that they have to worry about whether we're going to be in the streets in the fall. We're going to be on the streets and in every institution in this country from now on. What would you put? We're going to replace capitalism with socialism. This is the National Revolutionary Conference for a United Front Against So-Called Fascism, bringing together students for a so-called democratic society, the Black Panthers, and other revolutionary student and working class youth at the Oakland, California Auditorium, July 18th through the 20th, 1969. The underlying purpose of the meeting was to further Lenin's emphasis on exploiting youth to advance communism. He said, youth will decide the entire struggle, both student youth and still more, the working class youth.